Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. I'm going to show you the new uh, Windows Live Messenger app for Zune HD. A lot of people have been waiting for this, and it's really nice. So here we are, and this is my little icon up there. You can see a little closer. And right below it, I can update my status type something there. If I tap the icon, I have some cool options. I can change to uh, busy or way or appear offline. I can sign out from uh, any of the other locations. Oh, look at that. That means you've got multiple points of presence. So I can see I'm signed in on Zoom, my media center, my uh, TM2. We can sign out from anywhere. And oh, look at this. Facebook chat that's turned on. Alright, so let's go back. And we've got, uh, let's check out options real quick. Show what's playing on so my friends can see what I'm listening to right now. Contacts, sort by status or name. Messages, uh, emoticons, timestamps, yep, I want all that. Let's get back to Sounds, mute all. You got all those options. Nudges, you can turn those on. Notifications. One gotcha here with the notifications is that if you close out of Messenger, um, you know, it stops totally. There aren't any notifications, don't come in or any of that. So that's unfortunate. Next, let's check out friends. We have a list of friends, and what's nice is that you got groups at the top. So there's favorites, recent, Facebook friends, MySpace, nobody's there, LinkedIn, you got a couple, and back to all. And we double tap one of them we can see a uh, chat. We can talk to them like that. Let's zoom in, that's kind of a focused in there. Let's go back to chat and let's try somebody else so that you can see, you know, multiple. This little button down there, that'll give us a keyboard. And we can say hi. And it responds. And you, you see my other chat people are up here in the, the pivot. So now I can go back to him. So you can really easily toggle between multiple chats right there. So that's a really good feature. And we got all our Facebook people. That's pretty nice. Uh, also, Oh, you can also get your chats from here. There they are, listed. Okay. Go back there. And we also have social, which is really cool. This is just like the uh, Windows Live Messenger 2011 that was recently released as well. You got all your social stuff here. And, look at that, you got a little plus button. I can post comments. So those are some from Facebook. But it's going to load them from all of the social networks that I have aggregated. So, you know, things from LinkedIn or MySpace or Flickr or, you know, all, all sorts of social networks are going to show up here. Here's some pictures. do status messages we got our little loading thing it even sorts links out so there's people who post links and videos unfortunately if I want to see this video I can't do anything with it I can't I tap it nothing happens so that doesn't work. 
And here we are back to highlights. Let's go back to me. So me is going to show stuff that I posted. So there's a picture I just posted on Facebook. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go back to my chats and I'll just show you again. This is all I can do. I can only type messages. I only have a keyboard. There's no sending pictures, there's no voice clips or video chat. Obviously the HD, the Zoom doesn't have a camera in it, so I, that's kind of pointless anyway. But You, you only have little, uh, you don't have emoticons either. So that's unfortunate. But overall, this is a pretty nice live messenger app for the Zoom HD. And we can get an idea of what might come through in Windows Phone 7. Anyway, that's it for now.